Hi, I'm Ruth. And I'm Brenton. Welcome to Spectrum. Good to be back. T took a little break. Yes, we did. Took a, a summer break. <laughs> you have to take a summer break. Yes. So that you can kind of, you know, regroup. Get it but together. We did. <laughs> Rest a yeah. little bit. We did do that. So it was, it was nice. But it is be it's nice to be back with you today. It's always fun to be able to share with you. Boy, so. we have a lot of things going on in our world today. Woo! Wowzers. Yeah. So last uh, night, I guess the best place to start with the headlines. The headlines today are with uh, the whole summit with the North Korean leader, uh, Kim Jong-un, in uh, that he and President Trump had as they yes. met in Indonesia. And uh, what did you think about that? You watched part of that. Well, I know. I, I watched a little bit of it. I, it. I like to watch body language because I'm always interested in that when mm -hmm. you s I sometimes watch myself. But I'm interested in, in body language and how, how they're communicating that way so when they first met one another they kind of both looked a little Stiff. nervous so. but open I thought I noticed that Kim Jong-un seemed very interested in okay. in uh, President Trump which was interesting to me it wasn't uh, it, it didn't he didn't feel too guarded a little bit but not too guarded and I thought that President Trump uh, on that initial when they walked out and shook hands uh -huh seemed uh, pretty gracious you know i noticed he put his hand on his back and seemed to talk to him a little bit and i mean you know i think the thing that, that most folks are saying is I, I there's a lot of doubt as to how this will all end up right but everybody is hopeful i mean you don't want to have a situation we've already had one korean war we don't need another one right and so um well it, it's huge we'll um they talked about uh, Kim Jong-un not leaving his country, but maybe what, maybe a handful of times, if that, ever, he doesn't leave, he doesn't travel. So this was a big deal that he did, and they said he was, uh, the night before, was kind of sightseeing, um, looking at different things, which I thought was very interesting. He's of pretty course, young. I didn't realize he was only 34 years old. Oh, wow. I believe, this is just Ruth saying this, I, I think that he is attracted to President Trump because he's not the normal, um, poli this is me, politician. Mm. He, is, he was a s businessman, celebrity, who was on TV. And see, I believe Kim Jong-un is very fascinated with our culture here and with celebrities. He's been open to few celebrities, but yeah, there have yeah, been wasn't some. Dennis Rodman who was over there yesterday. That he's been open to and interested player. in. So I think that was another maybe fascination or something that other thing that drew him to the president. Mm -hmm. However, however it happened, I'm glad that it happened. Um, hopefully we'll, we'll see if everything that uh, ha is is being said now will transpire. I know that they are not. We are not lifting any of the sanctions right on them until they prove that they are moving toward denuclearization. So mm -hmm. we're not so being really speedy or hastily on now, that. Moving. They did get this that we would not be having the uh, war games, the annual war games, at, at this time because uh, it seems like there's an opening. The president said they're also expensive, so we're not going to do that. Okay, I can see that. I mean, you, you know, you're going to have to give them something, and then. But they aren't going to be withdrawing troops, although the president right. said he would ultimately like to withdraw down a lot of the troops and bring a lot of them home, which he's been saying that pretty much from every location in the world anyway. So that's really not Well, the too president new. Said, also said that the process is moving very um, rapidly, and he thinks that he's going to basically go back home and start the process. So hopefully that will happen like virtually immediately. Okay, well... So we'll just watch. I don't and know if there's anything else to say. I mean, we can w keep watching, and I, I think it's important to be prayerful uh, that good things will happen because certainly this situation has been a very uh, much of a sticker for uh, for many many people for well, a long, you know, long he is, time. It's, he is not a nice person. He's he no, is not he's a nice some person. Bad he's, things, terrible things. And um, President Trump did also mention um, mm, warm beer. What was his name? Otto Warmbier. Otto Warmbier and said that um, his death was not in vain and they understand what happened there. And I guess there was a little conversation about that, about although they rights. didn't go into mm -hmm. the details regarding that. And I also heard this morning, did you remember that historic, um, uh, the, the historic that President Reagan, his, uh -huh. about uh, tearing down the wall? Did you know that it happened on the same date as this? No, I, did I heard that, that. I heard that earlier that it happened 
on the same date as this meeting with Kim Jong-un, which was very interesting that to me. interesting. Wow. Well, going in speech. another direction. His speech. <laughs> Oftentimes, we think of the folks in uh, North Korea as being the only ones who are restricted with their ability to communicate. Right. But they're telling us that the Hasidic leaders, I guess in Israel, are sharply limiting members uh, of their community's use of uh, the web, smartphones, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. That a uh, father of, I think he was a father of four or five, was, uh, had been making, a father of five, was summoned to a meeting with the ultra- Orthodox Hasidic uh, Jewish sect uh, in Kiryas Joel, uh, I guess it was in New York, uh, a village about, no, is it New York? I'm not sure I'm if that's right. Sure. But anyway, it, it, was, it was about 50 miles north of New York City and uh, yes. was told, hey, you're going to have to cut out your use of uh, technology use. Smartphone, been internet, things, searching the internet. I guess, the internet. searching mm -hmm. the internet because they really want a tight parameter on things that are allowed and they're trying to train up the boys especially potentially to be rabbis. Mm -hmm. Well there's all they, they talked about um, there is a an agreement you sign when you're enrolling your children into the school that says you cannot have a, a separate or a secondary iPhone, your computers, you cannot have your computers and if you do you have to sign a contract that says that they can look at that Hmm. They can they can search your where you're going and also they restrict certain websites, of course. If you do, if they do know about it, then they do restrict certain websites that you can go to because it affects. They they believe it affects their teaching, and they do a lot of teaching. You know, again, training wise, where they even are really not spending as much time in math and some of the other things because they. Well, it changes their worldview when they start searching the web and seeing all the other opinions that we all know. I mean, mm -hmm. I want to get off the web sometimes and just to fast cut it all off because it's overwhelming and some, and it does I, it does affect you. H however, what they're saying is that it's too it's too strict. Even wives, they say that many times if the children, if their sons decide that that's not if they want to take a different route, then the parents are blamed and they're blamed because they had a secondary computer at home or they had internet access, they had something, something that the parents did hmm. has led to this happening. Okay. Well, something kind of interesting to watch. It seems but they to open me to be extremely too. restrictive, however. Mm -hmm. Yeah. UNM professors are suing the university over unequal pay. Hmm. Uh, some of the women are saying, uh, female professors at UNM are saying, hey, we're going to have to take a stand here because we're not getting paid as much as our male counterparts, hmm. and they are suing. So I guess that'll be another one to watch. It seems like there's a controversy on every corner. Of course, today is Hot Topic Tuesday, and boy, yes. do we have some stuff queued up for Hot Topic Tuesday in yeah. a few moments, things that have been going on in our world over the last few days. But what do you, you know, you're a lady. Do you think that there really is a problem? I mean, we know statistically I, that women do not get paid I was say, statistically I think so, as right? much as men across the board. You think that I that's... I think it depends on, the, depends on where you are, what profession you're in, but I believe it happens. Hmm. I, don't, I don't believe that it's like so much anymore like it was because there's so much attention on it now. Okay. I don't believe so. It's so it's in the spotlight. Right. So the spotlight's kind of maybe causing it but, to change. But, you know, it happened um, even recently on one of the major networks. There was a co-host, and somehow the salary was revealed that she and her co-host for a certain show, his salary was revealed. Somehow she got, she knew what it was. She was out of there. She was gone. Like, from one day to the next, she quit. Really? Because the salary wow. was, there was such a difference. Disparage. They're doing the same thing, but there was such a difference in salary. She quit, and they had someone else that filled her position the next day she was Interesting. gone. Well, we're going to talk in a few moments a little bit more about how that in our world right now, there is really a war on Christianity. And we're going to look at several different news items and really focus our attention on how important it's going to be going forward for folks to stand up for what they believe. You know, you at, right th now at this point in time in history in our country have a freedom to religion and a freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. And you're probably going to be you better use them, get prepared to use those things to stand up against people who are blatantly and aggressively attacking your belief system. So we're going to talk a little bit more about that in a few moments. So stay with us and we will be right back.
Ruth, since we were on the air last, we've had the opportunity of launching the Diamond Celebration mm -hmm. in full throttle. And yes. so many of you have probably begun to see some of the things we're going to be talking about in the month of June and July. Mm -hmm. We've started back in May, mm -hmm. running into August as we're going to be talking about raising. We need to raise here several thousand dollars toward the transition to HDTV. Now, here's what's cool. We have a lot of sponsors, business sponsors, who many. said, we, do have we many. will come alongside of you and, and we're going to bless the viewers. And Isn't this is how exciting? it's going to work. Mm -hmm. If you send in a donation of $100, you're going to be entered into this drawing. A lot of different things that we're going to be giving away. You can watch the Diamond Celebration. It tells you more about it. If you want to be entered in the drawing, anybody can, but you have to send a letter if, if you don't send in the $100 donation to say, you know, exactly. I'd like so to be included. Exactly, that's, so that's something we, we need to talk about. You yeah. do not have, if you do not have it, and you want to be included, you can still be included this is a big in celebration. the drawing. Um, so just to send it, somehow let us know. You can but call we would into hope the station. That you would be right. a supporter. Exactly, like but if you cannot, the then you can still be sure included can. in the celebration. Absolutely, absolutely can. So, okay, so with that said, uh, here are some of the things that are going to be made available. We have uh, oh, from I folks in... I don't even know in, all of the ones that Well, I'm not sure I can tell you all of the okay. details, but we, first of all, if you give uh, $100, you get two different CD or discs, not really discs, they're actually uh, MP3 type of materials yes. where you yeah. can plug them in and you, all the data is there on little keys. Pretty right. cool. Uh, it has little cards, the card there that you plug into your computer. You get the series on Daniel. I <laughs> yes. did a poor job of explaining that. And also the series God on... Speaks, are you listening? There you go. So those two are worth it right there. They are. But you also get a cool t-shirt. And we're designing that. Yeah, that's it's, for the, the $100 mm -hmm. donors. So that's going to be neat. Now, in addition, the those who enter the drawing... Well, you're just going to have to... You, watch the, the special... The special. Uh, information piece that's talking to us about all the fun things that are being available on the, as the drawing comes closer and closer because these are really neat stuff. Diamond Celebration, this helps us to get to HD TV for 32.1. Today's Hot Topic Tuesday, and boy, do we have some hot topics ding, today. Ding, yes. Over the weekend, uh, you probably heard that Robert De Niro uh, attacked the president. I did. Um, he dropped all sorts of foul language talking about the president. I believe he even said that he would walk out of a restaurant if the president came in. And all of this is because, <laughs> they, because they, being those who are uh, in our media, especially in our entertainment folks, Many of them just cannot stand the president and what he stands for. Now, there's some other things going on. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that Michelle Wolf uh, went ahead and came to the defense of Samantha B? Well, that's not surprising. And called Ivanka Trump useless uh, over the last few days as well. Uh, okay. Just attacking uh, again. Why is it that... That is so terrible because the same thing that they say they don't want for women, they want women to back one another up. So there's a hypocrisy happening here. They want, they want women to, you, you need to support one another. We need to be there to back one another up, except for if you do not agree with me, then all bets are off. And I can say whatever I want to say, and it's funny or not funny, and I'm going to apologize because right well, now maybe at I'm the not moment I feel I'm getting backlash, and then later on you're going to take it back like you're in elementary, you're in elementary school again. I didn't really, I didn't really mean to apologize. I take back my apology like Kathy Griffin did on national television. Everybody applauds her, and then you have Robert De Niro who spews, and I'm going to say this because no one else is saying it. In the Christian community, we need to stand up for what we believe. It is a time Amen. in our country and in our nation when you're either going to stand up for righteousness or you're going to fall the other way. The Bible says that narrow is the path that leads to righteousness. Broad few, is the path that, that leads to destruction. Few are the ones that go there. Few are the ones that go through the narrow gate. If you want to make it, you need to read the Word of God, know what's in your heart, know what the Lord stands for. And it's not even what I stand for, what Brenton, Pastor Brenton stands for. It's what the Bible says. Oh, you need to know what the Word of God says. It is a battle in the heavenlies. And the only way it's going to be won is when you know the Word of God and you stand on truth. That's you're right. standing on truth so you cannot be flippy floppy go one day you're here the next day you're there i feel this way today i feel this way tomorrow no we're going to feel this way every day because this is what the lord 
says. God is greater than all of these things in the world. God is greater. We cannot be wishy-washy, flippy-floppy, lukewarm. The Lord does not want us to be that way. We're either going to be hot or we're going to be cold. There is nothing in between. So when, don't be surprised by people even coming. I'm not going to be surprised by people calling into the station that they don't like what I say because it's not Ruth's opinion. It's well, what the Bible says. It's what the Bible <laughs> says. So we have to know our word. And you cannot be swayed because this nation these celebrities, these people that have led our culture, they're leading our children leading down our a wrong into, path. Into destruction. They're leading it down a wrong path. Yep. We are hip, hip, hypnotized by what they look like, what they dress like, what they sound like, all the money that they have. But those things are fleeting and those things don't last. We have to keep our eyes set on Jesus Christ, right. who is the author and the finisher of our faith, because this is an eternal thing we're talking about. Come this on. isn't just about today. It's about the future of your soul for eternity and for this nation and for those that you love and for your children and for the generations that come behind you if the Lord delays is coming. Right. We have to keep our eyes focused on those things. You have to know the word of God. You have to be rooted in that and not be swayed because this world is hypocritical. I well, will say go, that. Let's go down another path. So now, okay. no, let's go. The, and this one is, in, in my opinion, is even wor as bad as the first. Twitter CEO Jack Dorsey was forced to apologize on Sunday. We need to be unashamed and unapologetic. Because he was eating at Chick-fil-A during Gay Pride Month. Okay? So, uh, former CNN uh, anchor Soledad O'Brien tweeted this. This is an interesting company to boost during Pride Month at Jack. Really? And he says, oh, I, I'm sorry. I forgot the background. What is the background? The background is that they have defended uh, traditional marriage. You know, that, that's the background. Wow. The, 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 the background is now, and, and to show you how liberal mm -hmm. the media is on this, one of the, the groups reporting that his post was talking about, hey, look, I used my cool app at Chick-fil-A mm -hmm. and saved some money. I mm -hmm. think he saved 10% or mm -hmm. something on his, on his uh on whatever his purchase was. But in the midst of all of this, he, uh, he goes around and folks are saying, you know, this is amazing that you would be eating there and that some are saying in the media, well, this just shows that Chick-fil-A has a brand problem. Ha! Huh? Chick-fil-A is eating all of the other people's lunch, ha-ha, <laughs> tongue-in-cheek there. Six days a because week. They, yeah, six days a week, they can do what other companies are doing because in seven. God, because they stand for the right thing. <laughs> Because they're, it's a Christian. Well, and their food's, like it or their not, food's good, too. I mean, there's the a lot to be said great, for that, But like it, or, like it or not, you, you can be on the left and not like it. You can be on the right and not like it. Because yep. you want to go along and get along. But I will tell you something. God is going to bless this country. That's exactly this, right. This company, because they're doing the right things. Okay, people talk about their... Um, giving donations to anti-LGBTQ okay. RST yeah. organizations. Yeah. Okay. Go. That's, that's However, we have other other corporations. We were I walking saw this through week. the mall. I saw this, this week, and week. there's a huge sign because June is Pride Month. Um, and so in one of the stores, it said, this certain section, this label, as you purchase their brands, and they have a huge, it's, it's, it's set up really colorful and nicely, but it also says, it have big posters posted, proceeds, 10% of the proceeds, when you buy this label, goes to support this. There you go. Where are the so, Christians that so come out and company, say anything, yeah, guys? Yeah, these companies are tithing, they're tithing Basically, it's 10%. to support uh, things that Scripture says are, are wrong. And, right. and, and, and here's the deal. People are like, I was born that way. You it's, know what? God didn't a, make a mistake when he made you. Right. God did not, did, did, was not confused. God was not uh, overcome by not being sure what, what your orientation was going to be. And, and the thing that I struggle with but, the most is... Can I say is, something? Sure, I, I'm going I'm to say something in sure, love. Go God for it. loves go for you it. exactly where you are. Yes, he He does. loves you exactly where you are. It's the enemy that brings confusion. The enemy brings confusion and makes you let, doubt, let you stay there. and he brings doubt and confusion. That's a definition of who he is. He brings doubt and confusion when you listen to the wrong things. Now, I don't. Be, I believe there is a propensity to to certain sins. There are, and many of those things that are against the word of God. Many are generational things that need to be broken. Oh, and they're not just all they, sexual. No, they're not. There's a lot of people who they, struggle in the areas of addiction. Exactly. It's different kinds anger, of addiction. But all sorts of things. But you are not a mistake. 
You are not a mistake. God loves you. The same God that loves everybody else loves you. And you may be feeling singled out. You feel lonely. No one understands. He understands. When you were in your mother's womb, the Bible says that he knit you. He formed you. He knows you intimately. As I drive around the city sometimes, I look and I say, God is so big. He not only knows every detail of my life, he knows everybody in the world so intimately. And he loves you. Nobody's going to love you more than he does. The enemy is the one that brings confusion and doubt. Who am I? What am I? What am I here for? When you get to know him, when you get to know Jesus Christ, he will show you who you are. He will reveal to you. You know, the who, great thing about God is that God's care for us, yes. His love for us is so deep that He doesn't want, Scripture says He's not willing that any should perish, exactly. but that exactly. all God should come you. to repentance. And so, no matter where, where you are, no matter what your struggle is, maybe you struggle with anger, maybe you're struggling with addiction, maybe you're struggling in the area of with sexual fear, sins, maybe you're struggling adultery, with confusion. homosexuality, maybe you're you're struggling with lust or pornography. Can I tell you no matter what it is, God loves you so much. He wants you to be free yes. from any of those things that bind you. Mm-hmm. And and the to to allow yourself to become captive to the thought that says I was made this way. I was God made me a liar. God made me a thief, God made me adulterer, God made me homosexual, God made me uh, angry. I can't help myself. I can't do anything about it. That's not true. And every and everybody in in my in my family's background, no, we've all we had We have divorce. choices. God It's time gives, to break it. God has given us the power of choice. Yes. He loves you so much that he doesn't want you to to leave you in captivity. Yes. And, and what these folks are doing is they're per- perpetuating yes. a mindset that says that folks have to live wherever they find themselves. And God says, greater is he that is in you, if you accept Christ Jesus into your heart, and than he that's in, the, in world. the world. That no weapon Satan has formed against you Satan is able comes to, to steal, kill, and destroy. That's exactly but he right. has come that we, had have, we would have life and that we would have it more abundantly. Right? That's exactly right. Look at what's in the news. Understand that you're going to have to stay. People are going to stand against what you're saying. They're, sta- they're going to stand against what I say. I'll tell you what, we are at a point in time where we just cannot stand idly by. We have to stand for our beliefs. As we come to the close of our time together today, I first of all want to remind everybody about the Diamond Celebration. We're in the midst of that, and we are going to go to the Word here in a minute, the book of John, chapter 3. But I do want to just say before we yes. come to the devotion, your $100 donation is going to help us with continued upkeep of the station, but also of the transition to uh, HDTV for 32.1. And we really encourage you when you do that, you get entered into the drawing. Anybody can enter. You just have to tell us you want to enter, but we would certainly encourage you to... Uh, to be faithful and help us as we move forward. Okay. Did you talk about going to the website? Oh, no. You can go to the website. Visit us that. on the website at kazq32.org. Um, you can text to give. The number is on the website, but it is 505-349-5838. You can call into the station at 884-8355, extension 101, and speak to someone there or leave a message. And you can also always mail in your donation to 4501 Montgomery Boulevard, Northeast Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87109. All right, John chapter 3, let's read verses 16 and 17 and share about God's truth for our life. 
I think one of the passages considered to be one of the, the central and key truths for us to focus on. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone, everyone, everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. Mm -hmm. Let's read the 18th yeah. verse. There is no judgment against anyone who believes in him. That's important. But anyone who does not believe in him has already been judged for not believing in God's one, one and, and only, only son. son. You, you see that? God loves you so much that he, I don't care who you are. I don't care what you have done. It does not matter. God's love for you is so deep, so wide that he sent Jesus from the, the wonders of heaven to this earth to be born in a manger, basically a yes. stable, yes. to live a, a difficult life, gave his life for your yes. sins and for mine. But understand this, you have to choose to receive him as your savior. And that's important what you said because Christ had a decision to make. He didn't have to go to the cross. He obeyed the will of his father and yes. he went to the cross for you. And right. he went to the cross for me. If it had only been you, he would have done it because he knew what he was sent here to do. Now, what does believing mean? It says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and you believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you'll be saved because with yes. your mouth you confess, your heart you believe. believe. It requires in our life a turning from sin and a turning to God. Yes. So believing is not just just saying, oh, I, I believe in God. Scripture says that the demons believe and tremble. Mm -hmm. What it requires is a belief system that engages our faith and turns toward God. God loves you. Follow him and make him the Lord of your life.